Hi students, this is the last section of chapter seven, Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. So what we've worked with in the past is graphing linear inequalities. So in this section, um, you are going to be graphing two or more systems. Notice it's two or more systems of linear inequalities in finding the solution. The solution is the shaded region of where both linear inequalities are gonna meet. So let's practice this. It says graph example number one, graph the systems to find the solution. So here we have x is less than four, y is greater than or equal to negative three, and then x minus y is greater than or equal to four. Remember, if you have the um, less than or greater than sign, it is a dashed line when graphing. If you have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, that's a solid line when you're graphing the inequality. Um, remember, you're gonna be doing some shading here. And if you have like x and y, it needs to be put into the y equals mx plus b form. So let's graph, x is less than four. So x is along, is going horizontal. So I'm gonna find four and I'm gonna put a dot right there. Since it's x is less than four, we are gonna have a dashed line. It's gonna be a vertical line. And if x is less than four, it's gonna be everything shaded to the left. Less is left. We're shading there, because every number here is showing that it's less than four. Now I'm going to change my colors and we're going to graph the next one here. We have y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So that's going to be along the y-axis. So I'm going to find negative 3 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to put a point. Now um, we don't have any other things we need to graph here. So here it's saying, x, or I'm sorry, y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So I'll draw a solid line because of the inequality sign. y is greater than or equal to negative three, so if it's greater than, I'm gonna be shading up. So I've graphed the first two. Now let me graph the last one. I have x minus y is greater than or equal to four. We wanna get it in the y equals mx plus b form, so I'm gonna subtract x to both sides. So we have negative y, is greater than or equal to negative x plus four. We need to get a positive y, so I'm gonna divide a negative one to each situation here. So negative y over negative one, that becomes positive y. We did divide by negative, so we need to flip that inequality sign to make it less than, y is less than or equal to negative one x over negative one, or negative x is gonna give me or negative one, I should say, is gonna give me positive x. And four divided by negative one is gonna give me negative four. So this is my inequality rewritten in the slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So now let's graph this. Um, let me change a color here. So I'm starting on my y-axis at negative four. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put a point. It's the, the lighter blue color here I'm putting in. Now my slope is one, so we're gonna rise one, run one. Rise one, run one. Rise, run one. You could always go down one and to the left one from your starting point as well. So this is representing that equation. Now it's going to be a solid line because my inequality symbol, it's less than or equal to, so it's a solid line. Notice it's gonna probably be helpful if you have some colored markers or crayons or pencils to use that to help you kind of keep track of where the shading is occurring because um, that's, that's what's gonna help you here. So y is less than or equal to x minus four. So if it's less than or equal to, we can pick a point um, wherever, wherever, um, 
you want on the graph. Let me pick a point here. Um, I'm going to pick the point 3, comma, uh, negative 2. I'm going to choose 3, comma, negative 2, which is 1, 2, 3, down 2, which is like right here. Because that point is less than x, that red line, the red graph that I did, it is, um, that point is greater than that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. And then um, it's below, it's showing less than that x minus 4. So I'm going to see if that point is a true situation right there. So I'll plug in 3 for x, and I'll plug in negative 2 for y. So what we have here is... Um, Let's see here, y negative 2 is that less than or equal to x, which is 3 minus 4. Well, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So negative 2, is that less than or equal to negative 1? It is true. So we're going to be shading down here. So it's very hard to see, but where um, any solution for this is going to be in this little triangle area right here because it's between all three of those graphs. So any of those points is going to be a true solution. Whereas if you pick a point um, like over here at negative 3, 1 or at negative 2, negative 2, those are not going to be solutions because it's not true for each of these inequalities that we graphed. So 3 comma negative 2 is going to be a solution for all three of these inequalities that we graphed. And so that would be my answer. And we're done. Let's do one more example here. Here they're giving you the shaded area for two inequalities, and you need to write a system of inequalities that defines the shaded region below. So let's look at the first, the first thing we need to look at here is what kind of lines are they? They're both dashed lines. So that means both inequalities we write are going to have either the greater than or less than symbol. And both lines fall on the y-axis. So let's write for the first one here. I'm looking at this first line right here where um, the point falls at 3. And everything for y is less than 3. So what, how we'll write this is y is going to be less than 3. And that's it. And then for the second one, let me change my colors here. The second line is right here, and that's falling on the y-axis at 1. So then here, y is going to be greater than 1. So these two inequalities represent the two lines shown in the shading area um, based on this. So we'll keep practicing this, and um, that's it for this section.